Hello and welcome back to the Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Last video, we explored everything here uh, in the Turner City. We got everything done. We got the Explorer Kit, got the bicycle. Uh, here it is. And uh, explored the Ultra too. Now, before I get any further into the adventure, there's something that I didn't do with Cut, and I was waiting for this. I was going to do it at the end of the last video, and I, I forgot, literally. As I come out of uh, Eternal Forest again, I was like, oh, uh, I forgot to do that. Um, but yeah, if you come over here, talk to this girl, she's going to give you an accessory. Now, we're not going to be able to do anything with these at the moment. Well, we can. It's something in Jubilee that I didn't go over. But with all these accessories, you're going to be able to use them in contests later on. Now, there's another honey tree back here. So, with that... When, if you're still looking for one of the Pokemon with honey trees, you know, Burmy, Combi, Munchlax, Apom. So, like, yeah, if you're trying to get an Apom like me, there's another uh, chance of doing that. Anyway, here is TM82 Sleep Talk. Now, I won't lie, this move is poop. But I just wanted to show you that, that, that that's there, there. Anyway, that is going to be a move that will only work if your Pokemon's asleep. And when you use it, it's gonna pick one of your four moves um, to basically uh, use. So it's random. So if you say you got Flame for Earth, Thunderbolt, and Surf, it's gonna pick one of the three. But yeah, with that, that can happen. But if you also have Rest as one of your uh, moves, it can sometimes pick Rest. And because you're already asleep, you're not going to be able to do anything with it, so it's, it's kind of one of those moves. It's pretty, it's pretty weird. I don't really suggest that you uh, give it to your Pokemon, but it's there. There's also this that I literally completely went over. Uh, there's these fishermen that I haven't actually fought yet, but uh, I could do, I could do them, but I don't really want it. I won't lie, the XP is not too great, and I don't have a Grass or Electric type. Uh, so with that, Route 211. Now, this is. Uh, new route, <laughs> obviously, and there are new Pokemon that we have to find on this route. One of them is Chingling. Now, no, I'm not using it on my team, but the one Pokemon that you have to find here are Zubat, Machop, Geodude, Ponyta, Hutu, Meditite, Bidoof, Chingling, Bronzor, and Bidoof. Now, there are three new Pokemon on this route, and they're all Psychic type. The first one I'm going to talk about is Chingling. Now, Chingling, there's not many places in the game you're able to find a Chingling, but this is one of them. Although it looks pretty cool, and it's different, uh, uh, it, its stats aren't very good, I won't lie. Its highest stat, uh, when it evolves into Chimeco, is level 95, and I'm pretty sure this doesn't actually evolve until like level 40 as well, so this Pokemon alone, it, its stats at the moment are, are not very good at all. Uh, but yeah, it's pure psychic type. Its highest stat is 95, and that's in special attack. So yeah, if you want a psychic type, I don't suggest you use that one, but I definitely do suggest these next two because they evolve very, very good. So next up that I'm going to talk about is Meditite. Now, Meditite evolves into one of my favourite Pokemon being Medicham, fighting and psychic type. Now, the typing is amazing, it has a lot, it has a couple weaknesses, uh, being Ghost and Flying, but other than that, it's a good Pokemon, it's, it has a lot of good moves that it learns leveling up, uh, High Jump Kick, uh, Zen Headbutt, you can give him a Psychic for a TM, um, even though I suggest that if you're using a Metatite slash Metacham, uh, that you're actually giving him physical attacks because the ability that you're gonna have on him is pure power now When you first look at his stats, you're gonna be like what the hell is this? 60 HP 60 attack 75 defense 60 special attack 75 special defense and 80 in speed Now, uh, Yeah, that doesn't sound very good, but that's 60 in attack because he has the ability pure power That ability actually doubles his attack stat so, as it says here, attack 60, because you're going to have the ability pure power, that's actually 120. So when you're looking at his stats and it says like 80, that actually means 160. It's quite a madness. I won't lie, 
This part one is very strong. I definitely suggest that you give him physical attacks. You can give him the elemental punches as well. Ice punch, thunder punch, fire punch, and the high jump kick. Honestly, there's a lot of things you can do with this Pokemon. And if you want a fighting type or a psychic type, I definitely do suggest it. But I recently went through with the Medicham. Uh, you know, the last Platinum fourth that we did. So I'm not going to use him this time. And I already have a fighting type with Monferno at the moment. So yeah, sadly I'm not going to be using him. But... The psychic type that I will be using is what I'm about to talk about. Bronzor. Now, Bronzor is a steel and psychic type Pokemon. One of the most overpowered Pokemon in this game, yet nobody talks about him and nobody uses him. I don't get it. Bronzong. <sighs> Literally, this Pokemon. I think it evolves at level 34. Uh, Bronzor into Bronzong. Now, his worst stat is his speed at 33, but his second worst is 79 as his special attack. And it, oh, pff, honestly, this Pokemon, base 116 defense and base 116 special defense, and he still has 89 in attack. This Pokemon has 79 in special attack. Like this Pokemon, although he's an absolute tank, and he's also Steel type as well, so he's going to be resisting a ton of types as well as tanking them. He's going to be able to hit him hard back as well. So, with Bronzong, he, there's a lot of TMs uh, in this game that are going to complement him well. Being Psychic, Shadow Ball, Flash Cannon, and you're going to see these TMs while you're going through the game. Like, these TMs are coming up eventually. Oh, what the hell is going on with my voice then? Uh, um, so, yeah, honestly, there's some good moves that go with this Pokemon. And here it is. But, one thing that you want to make sure of. Bronzong has two abilities. Well, Bronzor and Bronzong. One is Heat Proof, which is going to halve the amount of damage fire type moves would do to it. So, there's that. Um, so, if you want to resist fire and make it do half as much as it would, because it is weak to fire, then do that. But, uh, yeah, the other ability is Levitate, and it's weak to ground as well. And this is going to make it completely immune uh, to ground. So, honestly, if you want a uh, Pokemon that's just going to be able to have literally one weakness, uh, being fire, Bronzong is your Pokemon. One weakness. Resist the turn. Defense is amazing. Special attack's good. You can annoy p Pokemon with confusion and hypnosis. It's good. Now, I'll be able to tell with this if he's at part, if he has heat proof or not. Maybe, he might have, I don't think it actually shows uh, if he does or not. But uh, yeah, this might be the Bronzor, I don't know. This could be the one that we use on our team. We're going to have to check the ability. I want one with Levitate, but I don't have a ground type move, so I'm not able to check. And here we go, Bronzor was caught. There are researchers who believe this Pokemon reflected like a mirror in the distant past. Now, I don't want to give him a nickname in case this is not the right one. Please have Levitate. It, it had heat proof. This is not the one we're using. Okay, we are going to be here a little while. Uh, I'll be back soon. One thing I hadn't realised is that Bronzor is only found here on Platinum. Now, don't worry, if you're playing Diamond and Pearl, where we're going in the next video, you'll be able to find him there. Uh, so yeah, if you want uh, a Bronzor, don't worry, uh, you're going to be able to find one in the cave that we're going to next video. This better have Levitate. Oh, and the sad thing is, is that I'm not even going to be using Bronzor with this part. <laughs> like, I need to get Poseidon up some levels. Oh, holy. <laughs> that took way too long. Anyway, another thing as well. Our next team member will be in the next part as well. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have a full team of six before the third gym. But uh, honestly, it's all good. It's all good. It's just uh, sharing the experience will be uh, a bit tricky for this part uh, of the game. Anyway, this is Confusion. 
50 power, psychic type move, 100% accuracy, has a chance of confusing your opponent. He uses the opponents. Good stuff, good stuff. Poseidon, you're popping off right now. And, uh, and we love to see it. And that, this Birth Keeper is dead. And uh, what is the item? I can't actually remember. Team 12 taunts. I already said what that does. It literally just makes it so your opponent can't uh, use the same attacking move twice. Uh, actually, 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 Oh, only attacking moves. Oh my god, I'm thinking torments and all that. Here we go, we're gonna head into Mount Coronet. Now, this is not the real Mount Coronet at all. Mount Coronet, well, it kind of is. Mount Coronet is the biggest mountain in the Sinnoh region, and it goes from all around uh, the middle of the map. And you're going to be able to explore different areas the further you go in the game. But at the moment, as you can see, there's these boulders here. And they're blocking where we need to go. That is the high temp for strength that we're going to need. Which we're not going to be able to have for quite a while. So for now, we're going to have to exit here. So with that, we are now able to go on to the cycling road. Now you could have done that anyway, but... I wanted to catch Bronzor and I wanted to take those trainers down because now Poseidon is up to par with the rest of the team and you know we got some extra items there but <laughs> so it's all good. Anyway, there will be a scientist here. I already spoke to him as you guys know in the gym, uh, the gym leader battle. He's going to give you the XP share but that's going to, when you give it to a Pokemon, give half the XP to, to the Pokemon that you're using in the battle, and the other half of the Pokemon with the XP share. Anyway, here we go. The main video starts now. <laughs> I guess. I, I don't really know. Anyway, level 21. Down. <laughs> and uh, this Pikachu will have Thundershock. So let's uh, switch it up. Maybe level 21, Pikachu, but your defenses are not too great. I won't lie to you. You're a good Pokemon, and you're probably going to hear us with static, are you? No, 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 And that's it. One flying wheel from Wukong, and Pikachu goes down. Here we have another cycler. Or should I say Baker? Baker? I mean, said Baker. What the hell is Baker? Baker. No, I, it's all it. Anyway. That made no sense at all, but you know what? I'm good at making no sense, so anyway, here we go! And this Star Avia obviously has Intimidate, just like Az, and you know what? This is going to be a good fight! Star Avia, the Star Avia, they're both level 21, he gets to attack us first, but we're going to hit him up with the Intimidate, so because they're both phys uh, physical attackers, that's going to mess uh, this Star Avia up here. Now, he's quite small for going for the wing attack, and I know what that this guy's moves are probably the exact same as mine. Yeah, I'm gonna say he's a, the exact same. <laughs> so he's gonna go for quick attack. Not the smartest move. Oh no! He got the crit. Literally, we would have survived that, and then we would have went quick attack, and we would have done it because we're faster. Wow. Okay. Interesting stuff. Oh, he endeavoured. He endeavoured us to uh, 11 HP. Come on, please kill, please kill, please kill. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, close stuff, close stuff, close stuff. There we go, Poseidon gets level 19. Pom Pom also gets some pretty good experience out of that. And Cyclist Megan, I think that was, is uh, down. Anyway, we we'll continue. And we have another Cycler. Ding ding, watch out, you are. Did you want to vote? That made no sense. Let me repeat, I said that made no sense. Oh, but what does make sense is water on fire. And that is exactly what's going to go down now because, Ponyta, you are not going to be a big fan of Poseidon's uh, water gun. But you know what? You're going to take it anyway. Every single time this Ponyta says you stomp, which is three times, it hits with a flinch. Please stop. Oh no. If we get hit by a stomp now, we're gone. This Ponyta actually won't have us. Don't have used Ember, please. Come on. Don't have used Ember. Please, 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 please. Oh my god! You might be a fat hoe, but do you have priority? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> Yo, the rhymes are just coming out everywhere today. Anyway, 
we go. And Cyclist James is down. Cyclist, I should say. Uh, none of the cyclists in this game really say Rydal, unlike uh, the Gen 3 games. Rydal, 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 Rydal. Uh, but yeah, honestly, the cyclists just tend to have Pokemon at good levels, but only really seem to have one. Besides this hole, as soon as I start talking about things, you have to ruin me. Oh! Wait, that didn't move! Oh, 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 oh. I was gonna say, because we both at level 5. It could have used quick attack just now, and it didn't. I'm gonna I'm take it. Holy. But yeah, when you saw Bronze or Faint, don't worry, that's not gonna happen again for a long time. Uh, unless it's on purpose, which uh, I don't want to have to do like that. But. Yo, we have no potions. I literally just went to the Pokemon for some nest balls for Bronzo as well. Yo. We're in a bit of a pickle here. No, 1 HP. Don't do me. Don't do it to me. Okay. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> what the hell? I'm Santa Claus. What the hell? Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. We're in a fat pickle. We're in a fat pickle. Oh no, we're in a fat pickle! Tickle! Interesting, interesting. Okay. Oh, we might find a random ass trainer! Oh no! It's doing it again! It's doing it again, boys! Okay. This thing is plus two or three on evasiveness, but it's down by three in defense. It's probably gonna go for quick attack because we're low on health. Please hit! Yes! Please die! <laughs> I've been hyped! Oh, we're going to the absolute beast that we love and deserve. Oh, yes. I, 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 I don't even really know where it's going with that. Anyway, so at least Johnny's down. Crash Tinkle. I thought he said Tickle. <laughs> if he actually said Tickle, that's actually funny because we just beat him up with Tickle. That did not sound right at all. Here we go, we are back, we're all healed up, and we are ready to go. Now, I believe we only actually have one or two trainers left here. Maybe three. Okay, here we go. So we actually would have lost because we have no potion. I still didn't grab some. Well, we're about to reroute back to Orberg, if you remember that uh, pathway that we couldn't do. So we'll be, we're going to be able to go there uh, for some potions. But uh, yeah, honestly, we're just going to keep vibing. Because... These uh, only have one Pokemon, which is I like, but when we have disadvantages like this, I do not, so we're going to have to go back to Pom Pom. Uh, Shinx actually used Raw uh, on Pom Pom, which made us switch, and it, that move will switch your Pokemon out into someone else on your team, and Bronzo gets his first KO! So I just say it's because he's not a boy or a girl, as you see, it's a genderless creature. Uh, but yeah, there we go. I find it kind of annoying as well that we get what? Three or four uh, bronzers, and uh, they're all level 16, but they had heat proof. And then the one we levitate is level 14. Like, what are the chances, really? Going against level 20? Come on, pom pom. Yes, that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it. Yes, nice one, nice one, nice one. That might get pump up to level 20. Oh, good stuff, good stuff. Let's have a look to see. And there we go. Cyclist Rachel is there. One more trainer left. And it is. What's your name? Cyclist, 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 cyclist. Kyla. For the big two. And it gets one shot either to the flame wheel from Wukong, just like the first trainer on this route. But yeah, as you can see, that is all this route underneath us. Now, I'm going to be doing that next part and also if you come over here so you're like oh you got a bicycle yes of course i do i've literally just went on the cycling road you can't go on it without one it's gonna give us a flag and that's for the secret base underground but we're not actually able to do anything with that yet uh, but yeah now we're able to use cut and go underneath here but for now i am going to go back to orberg and heal up and with that this is the longest i've recorded an episode yet uh, uh, in this playthrough at the moment. How long have I been recording? About 40 minutes, I won't lie to you. Trying to find Bronzor and all that, it took a while, and 
the levels on cycling mode are actually pretty good. Uh, I won't lie, all 20 plus, uh, mostly anyway. But yeah, with that, next time I'm going to be heading underneath Cycling Road and going to a secret cave and catching a secret Pokemon. Haha. <laughs> anyway, with that, I'm going to be seeing you guys next time, and peace.